Oh, and by the way, why we added the motion tile is it produces less warping, like Baker said. Uh, I kind of trust Baker in that sense. <sighs> Actually, we're going to make this. Since he's going prone and there's no shot after this, or there is, but it's in a while, we are going to just... Five, fifteen frames. And we'll bring it to ten. And then we'll go another thirty frames. We'll bring it to five. And so what this is doing is just slowing it down, and we're just gonna have a transition, have it go to the other shot. Oh yeah, we just finished our first sync. Uh, now what we can do is we can go into final. Oh wait, no, we have to make our last shot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna. We're gonna find the last marker. We're gonna go back. Yeah, 30 frames seems good. We're gonna drag in our file again of the clip. The clip clip. Whoa, you see that? That oh my god. That looks very similar. Now we're gonna find the fourth final shot. Go back a little, and that should be fine. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing that we did last tutorial, motion tile, uh, drag that on, plug in our settings of 125, 125, and we're gonna pre-compose it, uh, clip uno, because that's how I do, I'll split that. And then um, we're gonna twigster, no, 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 59.94, so it doesn't look like an asshole. Uh, move forward 10 frames and have it at 10. Or am I cutting it too close? No, I don't think I'm cutting it too close. And let's just start bringing this up. Nope, that's a little too much. That's fine, that is perfect. And then we'll go cut into the next clip. And uh, we're gonna have to do that. Not dog it. I keep messing up. So we're gonna have to actually bring in our clip again. You know what? Screw it. Screw it. I'll duplicate this, drag it over, and just delete the twixer. And so it's a little easier. Oh, this is gonna look bad. It'll look a little bad. Uh, hold on, let me click LL, see if we can get away with it. No, we can't. All right, well, we're gonna split it here and we're gonna go, there's like a wasp that hit the window next to me. That's really weird. Uh, we're gonna delete this 18 keyframe, because I messed up. And we're going to go right here, click 10 again, and we're just gonna speed it up right here. Go to 150. And that should be fun. Nope. Looks like we're gonna go to 120. Nope, that's right on, right on the spot. Go to 100. Ugh, this is not good. All right, so I'm gonna move back to this keyframe. We're gonna scoot it up a little bit. Speed this one up a little more now. 160. So I'll make it 140 and I'll bring this keyframe a little further back. And that should be fine actually. So there we go. There we go. And what I'll do is I'll twigster this again when he's unscoping. You can say, uh, make this 59.94 again. Why did I start this? I think I started this like six minutes ago. That's not good. And then we'll move forward 20 frames, bring it to 10. Make it really basic. And then we'll add some other cool transition. So uh, project, we will drag in our sync. Just drag it on. What are you doing, Zelda? What are you doing? 
It shouldn't look too bad. It's a little too fast for you guys to see the flaws. Um, like you can see a little flaw there, but uh, you won't be able to notice it when we have a color correction. Everything else on it's moving at 60 frames per second. Well, I guess YouTube downgrades it to 30, but still, it won't be noticeable. And we're just going to RAM preview, make sure everything is alright before we move on to our transition. Or before we figure out the transition for the fourth shot. And I think I'm going to use it. I can't fuck with whole niggas. I can't trust this. Ah, it's lagging. I can't fuck with whole niggas. I can't trust these whole niggas. Wait. I can't fuck with whole niggas. I can't trust these whole niggas. Wait. I can really, really slow, and I'm not liking it. Really. I can't fuck with whole niggas. I can't trust these whole niggas. Wait. I can't fuck with whole niggas. I can't trust these whole niggas. Wait. It's because I have other applications open and it decides to be a bitch. So I'm just gonna have to go out on a whim and say that it worked. Um, so we're gonna go back into our sync and we're going to select these two clip unos and we're gonna pre-compose in the clip uno lull. And we're gonna split the layer and we're gonna find a transition. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, oh yeah, I'm gonna use turbulent splits. So we're gonna make the opacity zero here. Uh, uh, go for 20 frames and make it 100. And we're gonna take the opacity here. Uh, it should be zero here. Go back 20 frames and now it should be 100. So now we can drag on an adjustment layer. I'll call it turbulent turbulent displace. And now we can go right here. We'll make it zero. I'll up the complex. No, I don't want to up the comp. No, one point two. One point one. And we're going to keyframe the evolution and the amount uh, at zero here. And we're going to move forward 10 frames. Uh, up the amount to, I don't even know. That looks really ugly. And then we're going to make this 180. Go forward another 10. And uh, I need to expand this. What the hell? Move forward one frame, then delete. Oh my fucking god. And then we'll bring this back down to zero, and we'll bring this to one. Ah, no, oops, 360. And so now, ah, this will look terrible. bad. That looks awful. So, because it looks awful, I'm going to try to kind of mask it out. Or not mask it. Uh, I'll try to add a little levels. Like what I did uh, earlier. I will make it green. Why not make it green? I mean, and bring this up, bring the green up, go back to RGB, bring that up, and it's really bright and it looks like shit here. And we'll go here and we're just gonna reset it. And I'm going to, on top of that, add some noise. Just try to completely overdo this so that it doesn't look too bad. Or, uh, I guess that's. Uh, wrong use of voice, so that looks like he did it on purpose. Um, ah. What can I use here? I'll use offset. Why not? So, I will actually make it on a new adjustment layer. Do the same thing I did earlier. Drag the offset on, uh, shift center to, keyframe that. Uh, now we're going to go 450 times 3. So what it does is it just drags it and it moves it. Uh, one, one little, I don't know how to describe it, but it moves it one. And that's what's good. Uh, yeah. So uh, we are going to go back into final. 
And here's what it will look like for the fourth shot. And I think my time is running out already. I think we've already passed 12 minutes. And I'm not going to do the morphing gun in here. I don't want you guys to know how to do that. Uh, I think I need to up the complexity to 1.0. Uh, open that up. Uh, I need to bring this up to like 120. Maybe 150. Just make it real crazy. That shit crack. And I'll maybe up the size too to 120. So that you guys don't even see what's going on. I don't know, it's a pet peeve having these open. And I will also add a directional blur. Just to put the icing on the cake, you can say. Directional blur. I'll drag it under my offset layer. I'm sorry I'm not labeling these. I usually do. And blur length will keyframe it at zero before 10 frames. Bring it to 25. Is that too much? No? It's fine. Then go back to zero. And zero as as a direction is completely fine. And I'm just gonna split all these. And now it should be good to go. Now let's run preview. Boom. And it's a lot better. It's just lagging a lot. Uh, actually, it might be because I have this on. So now let's run preview. Uh, yeah, looks like it's good. So, uh, yeah. So that has been part two. I think I'm gonna have to turn this into like an OCE. I don't think I can make this like a, how to make a mini edit, cause that'll take way too long. Uh, so uh, yeah, tell me, how, tell me what you think about that in the comments. Uh, in part three, we'll actually start adding effects if it's an OCE, if it's not, then we won't. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry this is taking so long, but uh, yeah, uh, it sucks. So this has been your boy, Use an AE, piss out.